I'm a sophomore from Westside High School. And the title of my piece is 49 Souls. Gunshots, no pulse, no heartbeat, bodies piling high, sirens. It's times like this where you see people's true colors come out, becoming translucent like water, or should I say blood? Friday, March 15th, families lost 49 innocent lives. Among these were babies and toddlers, dead before they could even say their first word, killed while they were on their knees during Friday prayer. Family stomachs dropped down to the floor where they hear the heartbreaking news. How can you even feel safe in a place of worship after the horrifying events that happened in New Zealand? We're seen as the terrorists on a daily basis, but we are victims of hate crimes like this. He obviously saddest part is people are fulfilling the gunman's wishes. He obviously intended to spread his hate. He wanted to turn that translucent water into an ocean of hate, spreading it like peanut butter on a slice of bread. People are blind you reposting it. Horrifying images blast into my brain at the darkest times of the night. Silence in my bedroom to the point that I can hear their screams. And I, all I can imagine is dead bodies that could have been me. Because of my religion, because of the hijab I wear, I'm labeled as the terrorist. It's hard to keep things straight inside your head when all you can think of is when someone might shoot you in the parking lot of your own home, when you're too busy worrying about if your mother will have to mourn your death this weekend. I try not to think about it, tell myself that Islam, Islamophobia is made up, that trying to remember that this country is supposed to be a melting pot of ethnicities, a stew of red, white, and blue. Try not to think of the red blood of my Muslim sisters and brothers, try not to think of the blue of their tears. <sighs> try not to think of all the innocent Muslim boys and girls who've been shot point blank in the head. Trying to embrace the memory of dead bodies, don't tell me I'm overreacting, that it's not all about ethnicity or religion, because I know better than anyone else, and I'm tired it's still going on. Instead of Muslim, you hear zombies, the remains of a suicide vest. Thank you. Thank you.